Hello guys, welcome back to Mornings with Granny. It has been quite a weekend around here. Friday, as you saw in the last video, we had excitement. I had taken mom to town and the tree guys had come to cut a couple trees down that what the landlord had sent them over there to cut a couple trees down at her house. So we left, went to town, we come back. The street was blocked off for about two blocks. You couldn't get in from the main street, you couldn't get in side streets. And we thought maybe a tree had fell on one of the guys and hurt them. And then my mom got worried about my brother because my brother lives beside her and she thought, well, maybe something happened to him. I said, no, because they would have called us and uh, they weren't home anyway. So when I got close enough, I asked the guy what happened. He said the house next door to mom had caught on fire. So I let her out. She had to walk in and I came on home. And I went back a little bit later and talked to the guys working on the trees. They said they heard a loud boom and then smoke started rolling out the top of the house. And from my understanding, they were the ones that broke the door down and got the man out. He was laying in the floor. And um, so when the fire started, they at least thought to get the water hose and wet mom's side down so her house didn't catch on fire. So they wet that down and I think Sled and the fire department stayed over there until I believe dark that day because I kept going by there and they were still there. And um, I was trying to think what else happened. I think the guys took a break for lunch and then mom called and said, tree fell on the house. <laughs> well, it was just meant mom's house something to happen that day. And if you look at the thumbnail that I put on here, you'll see uh, there's about a four foot by two foot where it looks like a, a two by four, like the tree caught it and yanked it off at the top of the house above the window and on the back too. So what had happened was the guys had the tree tied and ready to fall. And when they cut it, it had a big hole in the middle of it and a jackknife and it came back onto the house. So she has been trying to get somebody over there to put a tarp over the damage until they can get out there and put the new roof on or the part of the roof, whatever they're going to do. So finally this morning they got over there and put the tarp on because rain's coming in. So that happened. And then um, Sunday morning, no, Saturday morning. Once in a while Gizmo has trouble with his legs. He's a little shih tzu and he has trouble with his back legs, but not very often. Saturday he got up and I took him out and his back leg just shot right out, straight out. Like he was like a rabbit kicking, best way I can describe it. And he'd walk a few steps and then he'd do it again. And he had to sit down, which was making it hard for him to go to the bathroom. And he kept doing it on and off Saturday. So, and he wasn't acting like he was in pain. He was, when his leg wasn't shooting out, his tail was wagging and he was prancing around. And I rubbed him and felt all along his joints and everything. And he, he doesn't act like he hurts or anything. Well, I called the vet. I said, went to church Sunday. Sunday he, Sunday he didn't do it at all. Yesterday, I called the vet and they don't have anyone in there until the 18th. They can x-ray him. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on him. And if I have to, I'll just have to take him to another bed if he starts doing it again. So, and then, let's see. I had to take my car back to the mechanic yesterday, too. And then this morning, when I went to the post office, they said the man that had been in the house fire died. So that's been my weekend. How <laughs> was yours? Like I said, it's been exciting little bit too much excitement. But anyway, let me show you what I spent 
or bought at the thrift store. I only spent two dollars and sixty-eight cents. I bought four books, twenty-five cents each. Patricia Cornwell. This is Depraved Heart. This is We All Looked Up. I think they made a movie out of this with Meryl Streep and uh, I want to say Leonardo DiCaprio. I think this is the same one. Then I got the Beverly Lewis Amish Heritage Cookbook. And this is $2 a day living on almost nothing in America. This sounds very interesting and it was written in I think it was 2018, I believe. No, 2015. Those were a quarter each. I bought a glass cutting board for 69 cents. And I also got these. They had them 10 for 99 cents, and I thought they would be good to put in the Christmas shoe boxes. I mean, 10 for 99 cents, that's cheap. And I opened one just to see what was in it, and this is what's in it. It's a kid's toothbrush and toothpaste. Of course, I can't put the toothpaste in the shoe boxes, but these can go to the community shelter, and they put it in stockings. But I thought that was a good deal, 10 for 99 cents. Like I said, I only spent $2.68. And $2 then I got this beautiful Easter card and it is from let me get it where I can pull it out here here it is it just says Myrtle Beach it doesn't have a name but thank you thank you so much it's hard to believe Easter is around the corner be Christmas before you know it the way time is flying and this is from Ruth in Virginia thank you Thanks, guys, for thinking about me. All right, guys. That's it for now. I have stripped my bed. I don't know if you can hear my dryer in the background, but I have been washing up bed clothes, getting ready to wash up Gizmo's stuff, and um, clean up a little bit because I have company coming tomorrow night to eat dinner. And I think I took a... Uh, what is it, London broil out, and I had some mushroom and beef broth that I had frozen. So I took that out, so I think we're going to have beef, gravy, um, probably some rice, because I have a lot of rice, and uh, mixed vegetables, and I might fry up some okra and some biscuits. No, I'm not making biscuits. I know you guys are waiting on a demo. I still have biscuits that I had bought. Remember that case of biscuits I bought for $2? I still got some. They're past the date, but I've been cooking them. They're still good. So I still got those. So that's what we're having tomorrow night for supper. And I'll cook enough to send them home so they'll have lunch the next day. All right. I'm going to get off here get back to work. I just wanted to catch you guys up on what has been going on. It's just a little bit little bit of excitement and oh i got a special demo coming up i've been on youtube i think i started making videos in 2016 i believe it was i've never done a demo but this item i really believe in and so i plan to demo it hopefully this weekend so stay tuned for that all right guys don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe bye, -bye.